Good morning, YouTube. It is about 4.45 a.m. I just woke up because I have to be at work about 5.30 a.m. And if you missed last week, make sure to check it out. I took you guys through my Monday schedule. Um, and for those who have no idea who I am, my name is Tim Bonner. I am a, a transformational coach, and I've been building a coaching business for the past seven, eight years. I just recently hit my one-year mark on YouTube. Anyways, if you want to follow my journey, stay tuned. I'm going to go ahead and get ready. I have to be at work at about 5.30, so I have about 10 minutes to get ready. Let's go ahead and get going. I am running behind. Work hard, get dough. Okay, so I don't know if you know, but I've been doing apple cider vinegar most of my mornings. Sometimes I forget, but this is a great way to burn that extra fat that you have around your waist. I know so many more benefits to this, but I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys what I do. Two cap, two cap pulls here. <clears throat> so one, two. My lemon juice. I just do a couple of squirts here. Just a little bit of water. So, just like this much. I don't like to drink a lot of this. I just down it real quick because <clears throat> it's really gross. I like to add some salt. It makes it taste a little bit better. And I know salt does a lot of things for your body. So, I'm going to add a little bit of this. Mix, I mix it up. Use a straw because if you don't use straw, the uh, acid from the apple cider vinegar can mess up your teeth. So this is why I use a straw. <sighs> That's it. It's gotten, I've gotten pretty used to it, so it's not too bad. But when you first start out with this, it's really, really gross. So let's go ahead and jump in the shower. Should've woken up a little bit earlier. I run in a little bit behind, but every week is different. For those who missed my video last week, make sure to watch it because it explains uh, what my schedule's like. It's pretty flexible, so I can pick up the shifts that I want. I have to do at least one 10 hour day and the rest five for me to get it 30 hours a week. And then I do 15 to 20 hours on my business. So like I said, it fluctuates. Um, which is key to have when you start a business. It gets pretty crazy sometimes, but I really try to make sure that my shifts are aligned to what I'm doing outside of work. You have to have a foundation of an income that you can bring in while you're doing this. All right guys, we will see you a little bit later. All right, guys, so I just got done with Amazon. I, like I said, I worked five hours today um, from 5.30 a.m. to 10.30. So I'm going to go straight to the gym because if I don't go straight to the gym, it's going to be very hard for me to get back out. Anyway, so I'm going to take you guys through the rest of my day, the uh, things that I'll do, and then we'll go from there. It's so important that we get to the gym. 
uh, especially if you're someone who's a, a business owner, someone who's busy working. If not, we are just gonna get sluggish, we're gonna get overweight, we're gonna get unhealthy, and it's gonna prevent us from being very productive. So it's so important and crucial that we keep our priority, our health a priority so that we can continue to be productive throughout the day, so that we can feel good, have good energy, and continue to knock things off our list. Guys, we made it back from the gym and work this morning. So what I'm gonna do is eat my first meal, which I haven't done yet, and I'm gonna show you guys what I'm gonna eat. And incorporating intermittent fasting has so many benefits. I'm busy from the moment that I wake up till about 9 p.m. at night. So yeah, so it saves me time. I have a lot more energy. My workouts are pretty good for the most part, but research it and you'll see the other benefits. So for those who don't know, I do a high fat, moderate amount of protein and low carb. So I do a low carbohydrate diet. So let's check out, see what I got here. All right, so I did this on the grill. On the grill on Sunday or Saturday, I forget what day it was, but I did my chicken drumsticks. So I'll have some broccoli cheddar bake with this. So broccoli, let's check the macros on here. Six grams of fat, seven grams of carbs, and then five grams of protein, four, half a cup. That's not too many carbohydrates. I save my carbohydrates at the end of the day because that is when I eat, uh, eat the most with my family, so. All righty. So, simplicity is key if you have a busy, busy schedule. So this one, this meal right here works. Throw this in the microwave, you got your vegetables, you got some cheese in there. And there we go. Gotta keep it simple for you if you don't have the time to cook. I don't have much time, but I make it a priority, so I have to make sure I get my meals in. <laughs> I don't weigh my food quite yet. I'm not in that level. I don't want to be in that level right now. But check it out. All right, so now that I'm at the desk, I'm looking over the list that I have to do for the day and I'm gonna go ahead and run read through this the first thing I have to do is obviously filming this video for the day taking you guys through what my Tuesdays look like so uh, then I also have to work on a post for tomorrow got to work on my outro video for my insta for my program and then I have to uh, just transfer some files and things like that so that's what I'm gonna try to do for the next two to three hours
All right guys, so it is 4.29 p.m. and I just got finished up with the content that I'm gonna be making for my Instagram reel and TikTok for tomorrow or the next day. I didn't get everything done, so I either have to push it for tonight or probably for tomorrow because I still have to cut the grass, I still have to um, eat dinner and then take my daughter to soccer practice. So it's crazy busy this rest of the evening, but um, family is still priority, so I gotta make sure that I spend time with them. Uh, but other than that, we're going to keep going and we will see you in a minute. Alright guys, so the mowing is completed. Um, my allergies get so bad, so I'm going to go ahead and take an allergy pill. So thankfully my wife has taken my daughter to practice. Um, it's about six o'clock right now. What I'm having right now is some turkey bean chili soup. Very easy to make, very fast. Throw this in, in the crock pot, cook it throughout the day, and then you can throw it in the microwave and eat it real quick. And that's another key to uh, optimizing your day, is just to find food that are, is very convenient. Like for instance, this morning I, or this afternoon, I had my chicken drumsticks with the uh, microwavable um, broccoli and cheese and then of course this morning I intermittent fasted so only two meals that I had to prep and both of them were really simple to make which makes it a lot easier on you if you're busy and have a family and soccer practice and all that so I'm gonna go ahead and enjoy this meet up with my wife to watch my daughter's last soccer game and then continue going Who just got their bath? Who just got their bath? This guy did. Chico did. All right guys, we are at the end of the day. It's about 8 p.m. We had soccer practice, we got home, and then got Eli ready for bed and got him bathed. We got Lydia showered up, and from this point on about from 8 to 9.30, uh, I'm gonna be done for the rest of the night. Uh, Lydia goes to bed around 8.30, so I'm gonna hang out with her for about half hour, and then about an hour with my wife. I'm um, just catching up, so. It is nonstop from 4.45 a.m. from when I wake up till about 9.30 p.m. I'm constantly moving. I don't relax until the last hour of the day, and this is every single day, at least six days a week. Sunday's a little bit more relaxed, but this is my schedule. Um, working working a job as well as trying to build this business is very, very hard and very difficult, and you have to have structure. It's a grind. I don't like the word grind, and I said it a lot in my last video, but it's a lot of work at the beginning of starting a business and that's just part of it and you gotta really be in it for the long run i know that in order for me to leave my job i'm it's gonna have to be another year or two i've been doing youtube for almost a year over a year. actually i hit a year mark uh, i think three or four days ago the fifth actually and i have had 16 subscribers in that year so it's gonna take, I don't know however long it is to grow on YouTube, but I know it's gonna take another couple years or a year. Uh, I just gotta continue going and keep working on providing value, keep working on growing, just trying to grow these next year, this next couple years. You're, if you're wanting to start your fitness goals, if you're wanting to start a business, you gotta understand that it's not gonna come overnight. It's gonna take years, years for you to finally see the results that you want. Fitness wise, it's gonna be sooner. It could be take you up to three to six months to really see results. But with business, it's gonna take multiple years. It's been tough, especially with kids, trying to 
keep family a priority as well, and then as well as my health. That's what I want, is to be the example, to set the standard that it is possible to accomplish all these things. You just gotta have that structured routine, and you gotta have consistency in your life. So that's what you need in order to be successful. And yeah, let's keep growing. Let's keep going. I want to inspire whoever's watching this to start now. Start whatever you want to start, but you gotta have a mindset of understanding that it's gonna take time. Anyways, if you are new, if you like to follow the rest of my journey, make sure you subscribe. Feel free to like this video if you if you enjoy this content and make sure to um, comment down below if you have any questions. Hit that notification bell to get my next video. But we will talk to you guys in the next video. Peace.